a little bit of a dark horse, but actually it's showing up big in this tournament so far. And these guys are ready to get right into it. A classic Pokemon battle. And let's go. Greninja versus Pikachu. Yeah, a little, little something, something about this. Unfortunately, in Sword and Shield, we don't get to see Greninja just yet. But we still get to see plenty of Pikachu versus Greninja here in Smash. We're going to start things off on Town and City. All right. I feel like Pikachu gets a little bit more off this if he gets the early momentum. Because then after that, he just has the Thunder Jolts as such a just... I mean, Shuriken's a good projectile, but Thunder Jolts just better. Yes. Honestly. So, <laughs> like, like and the just thing run away too, and spam that. Like, uh, Shuriken's good against characters with, like, super grounded linear approach. Pikachu does not care at all for that, because Pikachu can cover that approach with that Thunder Jolt. So you have to respect it more uh, as Greninja. Yeah. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> Even Pikachu popped up and looked kind of confused and like, okay, I guess I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of the situations, it's like, wait, really, you substitute on me? Looking for the aggro approach. Oh, you missed the tech. It's actually going for the follow-up grab. I like it. Cash out more damage. Uh, maybe look for a follow-up instead of trying to go for the, uh, the smash jack. And another missed tech. The bite. Oh, never mind. Barely actually, not. Stay just alive. All right, and now Wasabi, first time hold the stage control, is going to make the most of it. Almost tagging with that shuriken and almost served with that stock on the silver platter, but ends up eating anyway. Cashing in and out, much like the note that I just heard, uh, just read in the commentator chat. We are also at 1,070 just from the registrations alone. So, chat, you actually have helped push this close to $2,000 already. Actually, it should be over $2,000 by now. Uh, or if we're not there yet, we'll get informed. But crazy, the numbers we'll be able to put up just by coming together for this. And ECM trying to come together with that dash attack, hopefully to get the kill. But Wasabi is still able to hold on to stock. It's one of the cardinal rules for me on stream. Don't do math on stream. Read number, I... <laughs> but don't do math. <laughs> Read number bad. Yeah. Read number good, math bad. <laughs> Dash attack Pikachu lightning. We so speaking, <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Back here to Pikachu lightning. <laughs> Big green A button good. Okay, anyways. <laughs> All right. That actually sounds like all of my neutral playing, like, I'm sorry. But anyway, so Wasabi actually looking for the get-up attack right there by going for the short hop uh, air dodge to hopefully punish ECM. I actually like that idea. It didn't work, but that was actually a really good idea. Oh, yeah, and you're going to hold a bit of damage from those jabs. You're off stage again. ECM's looking for a down air. I don't, actually, I don't even know he's looking for whatever he wanted because Pikachu could just be out there for so long. Mm-hmm. That's just one of the strengths of Esam. Like, especially against a character who can also stall uh, in Greninja. You got the uh, you got the side Bs. You have the ability, uh, ability to go for uh, Hydro Pump kind of in a bunch of different ways. But Esam can just follow you the whole way. Oh no! Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah. no! Woe is me. Bad choices were made. I mean. Greninjas like to uh, do that drop down, yep. jump up because their jump arc is so big and it's so yep. ambiguous once you get past the ledge. But if you cut them off at the ledge, there's nowhere that they can go except the blast. Room. I call it Marth Syndrome. You may have a good aerial from the ledge, but sometimes maybe you just don't want to do it. But it's almost it's also just one of those things that Wasabi has gotten that to work so much throughout the bracket that really just Esim was doing good option coverage there. Yeah. All right. Good DIN or maybe bad DIN. That could be it. Yo, Esam. Yo, Esam. Oh my god. I saw I saw him lab out that string a lot on the stream, but yep. to get that in bracket, that's that's clean. I that's why you gotta lab, Gull. That's why you gotta lab it out. Esam knew. This man is a chi tur. Spell it with me, chat. I may not be able to do the math, but we're gonna spell it together. C-H-E-A-T-E-R. Cheater with that Pikachu. But you know what? Pikachu Honestly, busted. it's just like you said Pikachu busted. It's one of those things, if it works for you. If it's available to you, why not abuse it? Pikachu has such good strings like that in those situations, and ECM capitalizing on, like you said, the Mist DI and just carrying Wasabi straight off the stage, taking that first stock. ECM's such a monster at the ledge. It's so hard to play against him when you're stuck there. You'll love to see it. All right. So, I mean, I'm thinking, like, running through scenarios in my head about what Wasabi can do, because... It was kind of something that we saw him run into in his one of his previous sets. Mm -hmm. um, like, he has a lot of the right data, but it's just barely off from cashing out. Like, earlier on the right side of the stage with the, like, double jump air dodge down to punch the get-up attack, he actually had the scenario red, but then he got hit by the get-up attack because he did too early. Just getting ahead of himself. When we play a fast character, that's something that's liable to happen. Yeah, and I actually, I would love to get the uh, the viewpoint from Benya and what uh, he thinks of this matchup because one of the things that Greninja does so well, we were saw we saw earlier against uh, Mage, is just the ability <gasps> to. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. I was, saying, I was saying words and ESAM also giving up, almost giving up a stock. Uh, but just the ability to just approach and really just kind of swing relatively for free, you can't do that against Pikachu because Pikachu just stays on the go. It, it, it's completely capable of boxing with you midair rather than fighting you on the ground. So those dash attacks aren't nearly as good. What happened? Got caught by uh, one of the neutral bees, and I think because of the fact that ESAM threw out that skull bash, um, I, I don't know if Wasabi was prepped for the fact that the jump was gone and ended up just just going to the blast zone. So, either which way, that's going to work out for ESAM. Huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. That breakdown is probably the more that's going to process in my brain. <laughs> but we're <laughs> moving on because, yeah, unfortunately for Wasabi, it does drop that stock there. And that's just so rough because Esam's only mm -hmm. at 76%. He's going to need a bit of rage before he can get a kill now. And I mean, sure, Esam's going to generously give it to him, mm -hmm. but like that's still damage on the table. Exactly. For Esam, this is all good trade window percentage. Even though Esam's just consistently been calling out the defensive options, he has the jumps over and over again. Wow, nice. I'm actually surprised that like, oh, never mind. We'll, we'll forget up attack. Never mind. But like, yes. just, uh, it, it's just one of those spots once again where you think that you're going to be relatively safe and ESAM just stays just enough away. Also, ESAM keep forcing these side beasts to go early because putting out both the lightning and the thunderbolts. Nice snipe, though. Going deep down there with the shuriken. So many times they just throw it out at stage level to force a low recovery. But that time, <laughs> levels go for the low recovery. And this time, ESAM just going to send him right up and power him up self up too I with am so sad because Wasabi was about to get one of the best zero the deaths we were going to see over the night because if he's, uh, Wasabi was able to get just like the single hit of that back air on the ledge from the missed tech could have easily gone for an instant forward smash and possibly killed off of zero to death that would have been so good no way. but unfortunately you're going to see Esam closing it out once again with the exact same thing Esam is going to take game number two catching Wasabi with the falling up air string and that's gonna put Esam in a great spot. That's so busted. I it's love so it. Good. It's I so love good. It. It's so I good. good. <laughs> I love broken. I'm not gonna lie. I can't help it. I'm also yeah. loving the. I'm also loving the excessive amount of Kuro gun. Some even seeing in chat. It's absolutely great. <laughs> Kuro gun. If if you've never seen it, uh, Kuro gun walks with one of the best struts in, in uh, Sword and Shield. Just like through the. Oh, camp. it's great. It's yeah. so good. Just like the most swagger in the game. We're going to see another game here. Game number three. Let's see if uh, Wasabi can somehow avoid being janked out by Esam by this great string. And uh, like finish his plate on one of the... Just, just, just barely missing uh, that kill from before. But it just seems like Esam just has this matchup down so well. Yeah. I mean, also, he might die here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, ha you had to go early and fast to be able to get out of there. All right, great call out right there by Wasabi. And like I said, all the data is there. I can see it in his gameplay. Like everything's there, it's just not always quite in the right place when it comes to the top of the top players and Esam giving him a very rough time right now. Yeah, it's just one of the things like your mix-up game may be good, but is it consistent enough to constantly confuse a player to like like at Esam caliber? And I think Was Wasabi's been making a lot of great choices. Like you said, the, the, the ideas are there, but it's just that Esam plays just enough out of range out of most of them. Okay, platform giving a bit of assist. <laughs> I actually kind of like the staggered jab right there. Oh, but actually just gonna miss with that, that, like the tragedy of this up smash so many times just keeps missing. Still, no, he is uh -oh. not. Uh, no, I thought he was gonna survive that. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. oh. <laughs> With the home improvement, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we're really showing our age right now. But yeah, we're <laughs> but right now we're seeing just ECM just consistently just showing how good uh, he's really been able to just take the lead and run with it. You got also, love that bro. sound effect. Like, did you hear that sound effect off that substitute? Did yeah, I've never <laughs> heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, nice counter right there. And wow. wow. The boldness. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. Just standing still, knowing the approach was coming. When you have the confidence to grab, like grab a run up like that. Esam's playing confident as hell right now. This yeah. is, well, confident Esam is actually a force of nature. Yeah, I wouldn't like, be surprised to see. ESAM... I wouldn't Sorry, be surprised to see some tactical crouching out of Esam at some point soon. I'm not gonna lie. Down smash. Not gonna take it just yet. It's like confident Esam, angry Nairo, um, void with never blinking void. Sleeves like, up all... light. 
sleeves up light, force the face with all of them. But when E Savage, like, you're right, like when E Savage really feeling himself, it's so hard to shut down the gameplay. Don't miss the tech this time. There you go. Ironically, the only way to shut out confident E Sam is like way from the overextend and like maybe even SD because that happens from time to time. But if that doesn't happen, you. Well, I don't know this wasabi have a peach? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. That's only Samsora. <laughs> well, I. Well, actually, no, there was, there was, yeah, there was a short span where it didn't matter, but you know what, ECM is just playing so good right now, I hate it. But Wasabi's been able to slow it down just enough to actually get just enough damage on to get this almost even. I love that setup. Yep. It's so good, Hang there's no there. hitbox there. And then the immediate drag down, but didn't get the hard hit, doesn't matter though, not, getting able, to, not able to make it back past that up B. Yeah, I think ECM wanted to kill with that forward air because the angle on that up B, like, crossed over where um, Wasabi should have been going. So, a bit of a risk, but end up paying off. It seems like I actually like Wasabi shit. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, Wasabi, <laughs> you can't compliment him. <laughs> That's how we get them killed. Uh, yeah. I, I like how Wasabi's just kind of like playing a little bit more on the retreat. Like, you're approaching so much that ESAM kind of had a beat on it. Oh, okay. Oh, that just missed. You're safe, yeah. But still, like, looks like Wasabi's starting to run out of options. It's going to be re-grab, more damage. Not going to oh, no. be able to kill off of it. Oh, shoot. Wow. <laughs> Amazing tech by Wasabi, but yeah. he's able to <laughs> out there. And able to get, luckily, on the right side of that, too, to avoid getting killed. Because if that was anywhere else, yep. You already you read dodge. the air dodge the last few times. Doesn't matter. That's going to end up taking that stock out. ECM taking it with a very solid 3-0. Uh, last game definitely seemed like Wasabi was starting to make some better neutral game adjustments, but it just wasn't enough. ESAM really kind of got a beat on a lot of the defensive habits as the game progressed. Yeah, and that's going to be a 30 and a handshake coming through from ESAM, or 30 and a fist bump, or 30 and a GG's social mm -hmm. distance and all. Um,